little valley, and that town is full of scandal. Welcome to episode four of Scandal 17, starring Kate Danley as Tiffany Spacey. Megan Gamble is Roz Rammer. I'm all greased up over the big bird and Grover Float and Mickey. Daniel Hartnett is Val Mortimer. Everything's coming up crack colored roses. <laughs> Steve Mackler is Shlomo Steinberg. I think I'm in white. Daniel Stewart as Finnish Bourgeois. People think I'm a witch, but I'm really just a bitch. Chris Sabatier as Squawk Box Kenny Kincaid. I can fire in my loins and murder in my mind. And as your villain, Micah Heathen as Darth Anderson. With Art Swazo and Paul Durasso as everyone else. <laughs> it's longer every week. Now, your ticket may have bought the whole seat, but all you'll need is the edge, because this is Scandal! If you remember, at the end of last week's episode, Tiffany Spacey had just been seduced by Darth Anderson as they expressed their love for each other with the body parts of dissected corpses. Now Tiffany Spacey is going to see the local fortune teller, Phyllis Bourgeois, to get her cards read to see what the future holds. Darth had a wife mm -hmm. back in Prague. 
dog. Okay. <laughs> she died, did you know that? Well, yes. Josh told everybody that she died in a car accident, but according to your last card, that's not how she died. What? He murdered her. <gasps> no! Yes. No! Yes, Tiffany, he murdered her and, and their unborn child. No, I don't believe that! I don't believe that! I came in here, you told me that this was true love. You told me that we were going to be together forever. You told me that he loved me now. That's the thing, Tiffany! You are going to be together forever! He is the one! <laughs> oh, he's going to... to another really good start. If you remember Val Mortimer, town gossip and drunk, whose husband was horribly killed slightly over a month ago, is throwing a giant benefit for children, but Darth Anderson has forced her to turn it into a benefit also for women who have lost their husbands. She's been gathering celebrities, and the one celebrity she hasn't talked to is local celebrity Squawk Box Kenny Kincaid, who's a little ticked off about that. Thank <laughs> you. 
there anybody over 50 in this town that's walk walks getting a gate won't bang? Meanwhile, in a slightly different area of the same mall, Shlomo Steinberg has mooning over Val Mortimer when Megan Gamp when Roz Rammer comes by. <laughs> Shouldn't put that part in the bold print. Let's head back, shall we? At just that moment, in a slightly different part of the mall in the food court, Shlomo Steinberg is <laughs> mooning over Val Mortimer when Roz Rammer comes by for a hot dog. And he asks her advice and tries out a few of his lines on her. Uh, what, what are you doing, uh, boy? Uh, you didn't pay for the dog. It's two dollars. You're just trying to take it from me? They're gorgeous dogs. I know they're gorgeous, but they're not clean. All right, baby, I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. You too. Thank you, Sam. Sexy woman with a big pair of hot dogs. That's what kind of woman she is. Meanwhile, Tiffany Spacey has gone to confront Darth Henderson about the rumor that he caused his wife's death. Right by where Darth Henderson often hangs out. The strip club in the mall. Oh, 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 oh,
strip club, it's fine. It's okay. Come here. Okay. Um, Is she a new dancer, boss? Ah, uh, just maybe. <laughs> Please have a seat. She's much more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, she is much too beautiful to dance like these women. <laughs> way too smart. Way too sexy, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, boss. So, Tiffany, uh, what can I uh, help you with? I'm uh, trying to uh, do business. Oh, Lord. You know that ever since you gave me your earring to wear, oh, you own my heart. That night that we spent together was the best night of my entire life. It was great. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Very um, fun for everybody. <laughs> I haven't done that in the morgue before. You don't say. <laughs> um, no, no, wait, wait. I'm, I, I came here for a reason. It's just to kind of take all the thoughts you can tell me anything. I heard, I heard that your wife, that when she died, it, it wasn't an accident. That is true. It's true? That is very true. I did what? not think that I would have to tell you this. You strippers, get the fuck off the stage. I want this place to myself. <laughs> <laughs> shared this ring together. Oh, it's a beautiful skull and crossbones. We had what you would call a blood ceremony. Each of us cut our wrists and poured our blood into a bucket. <laughs> That's and then a we... little different. It was beautiful. Oh. Thank you. He was my best man. Oh. Yeah, I know. Well. <laughs> that blood crystallized into these two stones. Oh. You and I will go through something similar when we get married. Oh. It is Eastern European tradition. Um. Unfortunately, my wife and I will only marry for a short time before. Oh, Thor! Thor! Tell me! Tell me what happened! I'm here for you! What? It is just so hard to talk about. What? The secret police killed my wife and my father. My father was a charitable man all throughout Eastern Europe and. He had made many enemies. Oh. And one of them, one of them is responsible for killing my wife and my father. I had to watch in the front of my own eyes. I had to carry my wife five miles in my arms and watch her die. Oh, Lord. So whoever told you that I killed my wife is a liar, and that person is trying to break us up, and you cannot allow that to happen. I will not allow it to happen. I'm yours and you're mine. smell of a different type of booze, that drunk by Val Mortimer. I'll tell you what, guys, next we got Wish You Were Here coming up. I tell you, some things never get old. Songs, women. In fact, some things get better with age. At first glance, you might look at it and go, that's old. But once it's inside you or you're inside of it, He'll say, my God, my God, how is this possible? How? It's, it's, like it, it's like it sucks on you. You understand what I'm saying? It sucks on you as like it was a, a mouth with a vacuum cleaner in its throat. <laughs> That's it. Oh, sorry. Uh, wish, you, wish you were here. Enjoy. Hey, clear. Mm -hmm. 
Make it. You know, I wish you were here was written about my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you already knew that. We've been over this before. That's why I played it, baby. Repeat again, Kenny. Oh, hey, hey, I jogged to work this morning. Maybe you should stay back. How are you, my love? Is that Gina Tay and Box Wine I smell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, that's what you smell. You know I wear Chanel number no. five and only drink vodka. Who have you been sleeping with? <laughs> what you talking about, baby? You, you know there ain't no pussy better than yours. <laughs> you smell like a widowed middle-aged woman. <laughs> <laughs> You must be out of your mind. Give me another. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, you off to a. You must have taken a crazy pill when you woke up this morning. You're acting like you touched a foo pop. What the heck? <laughs> I don't even. Know. Have you been sleeping with Val Mortimer? Have you been sleeping with Val Mortimer? Fuck your good. Oh, Shit. God, I knew it. Oh, Kenny Squawk Box Kincaid, this is a nightmare! You know she's the town gossip. What did you tell her? What did you tell her? Forget I, it, I already know. I didn't tell her anything. I, 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 I might have let it slip that you were childless, so I always use extra protection. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, this is all wrong. This is not what's supposed to be happening! I can't be with you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I love Val Mortimer. I can't. I can't. 
I can't be with another shiksa. I can only do one. Keep your pants off. I need your pants to stay off this entire time and to slay with me. Because, yep. Shlomo, you know that all I really need is sex. Because I cannot fall in love with another man. Because my Johnny could still be alive. So I'm not looking for commitment, just fun in my honor shop. I'm looking for commitment. Okay, so Rob. What is this? Oh my God! Oh! 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 But it isn't what it looks like. It isn't what it looks like. Get your hand off of me, hand. Stop with the hand. Oh, it's oil all over the place. Are together? Well, I know. No, there's nothing going on between me and this thing over here. I got. Oh, you've got to believe me. You're the one. You're the one that I want. Val. I thought you were my friend. I am your friend, Val. I am your friend. You know what, Val? He doesn't look like he's your friend. You said I didn't know that you were actually with him. I never would have done this if I would have known that. At all. He's you an awful know. man, and he should leave now, and we should finish working this float. And Work on your charity, man, because you know what? Men suck. Like this man right here. I am awful. I'm oh. terrible. I'm sorry, Val. How could you deliberately go against my, my pretend daughter that I've just recently bothered with? We, we both have dead, and you do too. How could you, how could you, when your love is dead, how could you, how could you betray me? Well, I didn't need it. I love you, Val. Well, guess what? I've got a boy toy. <laughs> so just get out of here. Just get out. Out! We're going to work on our float. And I'm going to make $10 million for the kids who can't dance and the kids who can't sing. And the widows. And I just called up Regis Philman and he's coming to the event. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, Bob. Please forgive me. I... Run away, I've got a boy toy! I've got a boy toy! <laughs> Run away, Shlomo. He fills me with new blood. And then all this new gossip, too. Run away. Uh. <laughs> I can just eat up man. I, I can just, I can just, just take, take anyone. It doesn't uh. matter. Just that moment, back at the mall. Oh. Well, actually, no, at the morgue. Yeah, that'd be a more interesting location. At the morgue, <laughs> Tiffany Spacey has asked Phyllis Bourgeois to come down to her territory and her turf so she can confront her about the obvious lies she's been told about her great love, Darth Anderson. I'm 
sorry that you think I've lied to you. And I'm sorry that Dark... <laughs> I'm sorry that Dark told you that his wife's death was not by his own hand. But the truth is, it was to me. And I'm sorry if you don't believe me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'll never believe you. You are no longer my friend. You are no longer my second mother. I will never come to you ever again to look into the future. I hate you. I hate you. And I can hardly wait until you die so I can drop up your body here in the morgue. <laughs> Life. For Shlomo Steinberg, at least. His last chance at love has been ripped from him by a quick fling with a greasy grease monkey. So he goes to Darth Anderson, because Darth Anderson has made an offer. An offer he did not want to accept, but an offer which is looking mighty, mighty good. At Darth Anderson's palatial estate.
didn't know that was the last save. What will happen next week? People are revealed to be other people's parents, other people are sleeping with people, and people were killed or being threatened to be killed. What will happen next week? We'll come back and find out for another thrilling episode of Scandal!